Waste forms for nuclear fuel cycle, a review. Vitrification is a process of choice for separated highly radioactive waste in virtually every reprocessing nation. Vitrification is the transformation of a substance into a glass, that is to say a non-crystalline amorphous solid. Vitrification is usually achieved by heating materials until they liquidize, then cooling the liquid, often rapidly, so that it passes through the glass transition to form a vitrified solid. Certain chemical reactions also result in glasses. In a wider sense, the embedding of materials in a glassy matrix is also called vitrification. Vitrification is a proven process tolerant to a wide range of waste compositions, a fast continuous process, generates known, no fine particulates, the EPA best demonstrated available technology, and produces a waste form of good performance that is reasonably well understood. An important application is the vitrification of radioactive waste to obtain a stable compound that is suitable for ultimate disposal. In terms of chemistry, vitrification is characteristic for amorphous materials or disordered systems and occurs when bonding between elementary particles becomes higher than a certain threshold value. Thermal fluctuations break the bonds, therefore the lower the temperature, the higher the degree of connectivity. Because of that, amorphous materials have a characteristic threshold temperature termed glass transition tem temperature, T of G. Below T of G, amorphous materials are glassy, whereas above T of G, they are molten. An unprecedented level of waste management control can be achieved through advanced separation. Russians use phosphate-based glass instead of silicate-based. Nuclear-grade zirconium is expensive. You must remove hafnium. Glass waste form orthosilicate tetrahedra form the continuous network. Boron and aluminum are modified by waste elements to tetrahedral form. Waste elements are integral part of glass structure, not simply contained or surrounded. Melters. For melter sizes of 0.6 meters to 0.9 meters in diameter, a relatively small waste stream will be generated from a plant. The CCIM and HWIM are thought to best meet this mission due to small in-cell size, high specific melting rate, tolerance to solid inclusions, ability to fully empty. HWIM is better able to melt glasses with low alkali content, e.g. LNFP, since induction couples to the crucible rather than the glass. The CCIM is better able to melt glasses with noble metal metals, e.g. TMFP or UDS, since the glass skull protects the melter. Characteristics High flexibility to waste composition High speed continuous process Primary options Alkali borosilicate, ABS Lanthanide borosilicate, LABS Iron phosphate, FEP Boron lowers melting temperature of glass. Vitrification into borosilicate glass is at around 1100 to 1200 degrees Celsius. Vitrification process. Evaporate waste stream to heat. Dose, solubility, etc. Limits. Blend with additives, for example, aluminosilicates, reductant, etc. Feed to melter, CCIM, HWIM, etc. Cast into container, slash allow to cool. Seal, decontaminate, or overpack in store. HWIM, hot walled induction melter, is a metal can that is heated by low frequency induction. Developed in France starting in 1962. Used in France and UK. CCIM, cold crucible induction melter, setup is a water-cooled steel crucible surrounded by one or more induction coils. These induction coils transmit alternating high frequency which induce electrical currents in the material being heated. First patented 
by Simons und Halsk Company, Germany. JHCM, Jewel Heated Ceramic Line Melter, originally developed in the U.S. in 1973, used in France and the U.K. These technologies, while effective, do pose limitations in throughput rates particularly HLW, high-level waste, originating from commercial spent fuel reprocessing, usually contain noble metals such as ruth ruthenium, rhodium, and palladium, which require special attention when waste is vitrified. The next generation, JHCMs, use a steeply sloped bottom and a subsidiary heating bottom drain to allow these noble metals particles to be effectively flushed from the melter with higher waste loadings. Melters, jewel heated, ceramic lined, developed in the U.S. for vitrification of high-level waste. Advantages of JHCM, large size capability, heat is deposited to volume rather than surface, well demonstrated, relatively high design life. Disadvantages, large size, temperature limits. In short, well suited to tank waste, but not for small scale new recycling plant. Glass must meet a number of constraints. Product quality, chemical durability, thermal conductivity, radiation resistance, regulatory constraint, transition temperature, phase, st st phase stability, etc. Processability, melting temperature, crystal formation, inclusions, conductivity, and economics, waste loading, and processing rate. Key formulation considerations for advanced closed fuel cycle. Temperature, glass with TFG to ensure that glass stays as a solid with self-heating. This tends to require high melting temperature, limiting melter technology. High thermal conductivity is a plus. Radiation and decay tolerance. Radiation generates high beta gamma dose. Decay changes chemistry. Cesium to barium and strontium to zirconium. High mobility and multivalent oxides. Volatility, primarily cesium and halides. Solids. Noble metals are insoluble in most oxide glasses. Need a melter technology that will tolerate solid inclusions. Waste loadings may be set to maintain noble metal concentration below melter tolerance limit. Waste solubility. Many waste components are spot, sparsely soluble in glasses. Glass corrosion rate. Waste is incorporated in the glass that is bound on a molecular scale within the solid. During reaction with water, the release of most waste components from glass is determined primarily by the rate of glass corrosion. Need a couple experiments and modeling to estimate release. Significant controversy. Metal waste forms. Structure. Crystalline metals. Face-centered cubic. Body-centered cubic. Hexagonal. Closely packed. Etc. Characteristics, reduced waste form, high density, high thermal conductivity. Primary options, zirconium, iron, inner metallics. Zirconium lowers the melting temperature a little. Metal process, evaporation, calcination, and reduction to form metal. Combined in crucible of coke and other metal streams. Melt in crucible, move to canister in slugs. Seal, decontaminate, or overpack and store. Metal corrosion. Metal corrodes by an oxidative process. Electrochemical measurements are used to measure corrosion behavior. Incongruent corro corrosion has been found for waste alloys, both iron and zirconium based alloys. Determining the phase preferences of radionuclide is important. Passivation layers may form and slow reaction. Hydrogen embrittlement, small scale chemistry, and pitting are also key processes. Rates can be comparable to oxide waste forms, particularly in reducing repositories. 
potential ceramic streams, iodine, high-level waste of graphenite, and its subparts. Ceramic waste forms. Structure, thermodynamically stable, crystalline oxides. Regular network with long range order. Characteristics, very high durability, high thermal stability. Primary options, aluminosilicates, titanates, zirconates, and phosphates. Example ceramic process, evaporate waste stream to heat, dose, solubility, etc. limits. Blend with additives, calcium mixture to remove water and organics or nitrates. Form green ceramic, press extrude, etc. Ramp heat in box furnace, dry react, center and slow cool. Load in canisters, seal and decontaminate or overpack in store. Ceramic process alternatives. There is not a single ceramic process, but many process steps that can be combined for an optimal total process. Head end. Absorption slash adsorption, precipitation, soul gel. Forming, filter press, cold press, extrusion, casting. Heating, furnace, tunnel or box. Hot isostatic pressure, HIP. Hot uniaxial pressure, HUP. Plasma spark centering. Ceramic formulation. Just as there isn't a single ceramic process, there isn't a single ceramic. Typically, a target phase or phases are selected and additives are optimized to adjust possibility and product quality. There are pyrochlor, zircon, zircon light, monazite, pellucite, and selenium. Processing. Phase formation, process temperature, densification rate, ripening or grain growth, shrinkage, etc. Product quality, phase formation, grain boundary, composition, microstructure, radiation damage, chemical durability.